loves and welcome back to the channel today i am giving summer inspired look today we are trying to create like a very sweet dewy fun not too colorful but colorful you know beginner friendly dark skin friendly summer inspired makeup look and we're going to be trying some items from fenty beauty at the same time so it's like a it's like a try on video but also more on the makeup right it's been a while since we did this kind of makeup inspired video that just focuses more on makeup application and all of that fun stuff and that's what we're going to be doing today i have my hair packed up in a ponytail which is kind of like my favorite hairstyle for like summer or just showing my youthfulness and that's what i feel like summer is all about and we're going to be focusing on that in today's video so where do i even begin with this video i want to start off with my skin because this is the most important whenever it comes to makeup in general right if you can get your skin right then everything else would fall into place so for that i'm going to focus heavily on you know kind of hydrating my skin so i'm gonna go ahead to just moisturize my face i went ahead to add my serum after i came out of the shop i'm gonna be moisturizing my face and for that i'm using that intense hydrating serum this one is from rituals right guys it's been a while since we did makeup I've forgotten that we have to show the product. I forget to do that. So yeah, um, just heavily hydrating my skin. That feels good. This is super hydrating. Let me just add another layer. Mm. So I'm, I want my head to moisturize my lips using this um, Vaseline Lip Therapy. This is what it looks like over here. And we're just going to apply this generously on our lip just so it is supple it is hydrated and it is ready for the lip products whenever we are done with the face products right if you have like like an oily skin and you feel like your makeup moves a lot feel free to use like a primer to set it down and lock it in and yeah so i'm gonna go in with my foundation and i'm using the maybelline fit me in the shade three five six warm coconut perfect so i'm gonna just apply just one layer of this foundation on my skin right now when it comes to rubbing foundation i don't know if you guys are, have seen me do this but because i don't have like a problematic skin my skin is fairly um decent right in the sense that i don't have a lot of hyperpigmentations like my hyperpigmentations are not so pronounced they are kind of easy to cover so i like to just go in with minimum amount of foundation like this one now would be more than enough for my face because the more you layer it on the more it starts to break crack tear melt and all of that don't forget that we are adding like um, we're going to add powder to it we're going to add concealer to it we're going to add bronzers to it we're going to add contour to it so you know you want to layer it on and not pack it on okay so do bear that in mind so that way you're not looking too plasticky because with like summer makeup you want to look like it is your skin but a more enhanced version of your skin so what i'm trying to do is to even out my skin tone using a foundation that is closest to my skin tone so this is what we are looking like and i'm liking how it's looking you guys can still see a little bit of shine and i'm loving it so what i want to do now is to kind of contour my face a little bit i want to add definition to what my face is looking like i don't want it to be too defined i just want it to be structured right i'm going to go in with my stick foundation in the shade Cassina from juvia's place i'm just going to use just this amount it's so tiny but this um, foundation sticks are so pigmented again i'm going to go in with the bronzer so you want to layer this on and not really pack this on I'm gonna go in with my concealer go in with my foundation stick this one again is from Julia's play apply to the areas that I want to highlight which is typically on my forehead I'm not just applying it onto my face but I'm also kind of like sharing it out and blending it out so that way we're not using a lot of product can you guys see how my skin is looking this is why i like like 
um, foundation stick it just looks natural it doesn't look too cakey it doesn't look artificial it just looks good so like I said I'm applying but I'm still pressing I'm blending this product on my face that way I'm not using too much and that way it looks natural all right so I've basically done half of the blending I just need to go in with my beauty sponge to further like blend it out again okay so like I said I'm gonna be using my beauty sponge and I'm gonna be using this to blend and share this out so I'm just going to focus on the outer corners from here share this out because I already went ahead to blend it with my concealer brush I just want to kind of even this out so that way everywhere looks flawless it doesn't look like we are buying makeup right so if you guys can see you can't see any harsh lines so I'm gonna blend this out before I press this in on the center of foundation do the same thing here okay this is what we are looking like so now I have like three shades on my face my face is like 3d it's three-dimensional it's not just one flat color one flat look we kind of have um, some tones going on and these tones are similar to my own skin tone press the center of my nose that's so we share out this foundation that I'm using as concealer so what I'm going to do now is to go in with a lighter concealer shade just to brighten up underneath my eyes because I want to look snatched right I'm gonna just take this concealer this one is from Zaron in the shade medium and I'm gonna put this on the back of my my hand right this is where I like to kind of warm up my makeup products and dispense it so I'm gonna also take the same brush and use that to apply just focusing on here right just a little bit so I'm still gonna go in with a setting powder to brighten up the eye so I don't want to use too much so that it doesn't look too cakey and you know too artificial so I'm gonna use my sponge now to just blend this out focusing it on this area right here even look closely you can still see the contour on my face on the nose but it is more natural it's looking natural now so this is what we are looking like now it looks good right it looks really good these are the products we are going to be using for this summer look we're going to be using the brow MVP we are going to be using the mascara this one is the full frontal mascara this one is the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo and this is the fenty beauty gloss bomb and lastly we have the cheeks out which is the freestyle cream blusher so like i said i'm gonna just focus on one two three four five these five products and get this started now since i've done my foundation my contour um this is the cream blush this is in strawberry drip 05 i'm gonna go in with this oh gosh i miss those days where i just create like instagram videos and they're like so bomb i think i need to start doing that like with the transitions and all of that <laughs> They always make me happy whenever I'm editing. I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. Every second is like, banging, banging. Ah. So this is what it looks like inside. Which is pretty, right? It is pretty. Right? So let me get a brush. I love using this to share out like my blush and then blend it into my foundation. I'm going to be using a little bit of it. Let me just tap this in. tap this in I'm not being up I'm not trying to be shy or scared this is what we have on here let me just take two more swirls around it mm. 
Okay, I'm just going to generously apply this on my face to add color, to add a glow, dewiness to it. Okay, I think that is enough. So yeah, I'm going to blend this out with my beauty sponge. I'll just blend this out as well. Lastly, I'm going to add a little bit of summer glow to my face. And for that, I'm going to be using the Nuban Beauty The Glow Highlighter. This is what it looks like. Right? And literally, this thing is super pigmented. I just need like, not even up to a drop. I just need a little bit. So I'd like to share this out on my hand. Like so. And then go in with, see how that is looking. Let me clean off this concealer so we can focus on this highlighter. See how that is glowing. I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge. Just take a little bit of that and apply that on the areas that I want to highlight. Like so. So this will give me like a shine from within. Just a little bit goes along way. I don't like using a lot of this because most times I use this underneath my foundation. It still peeks through, but then it just tends to look too much. Let me just apply the, the rest on my body. You guys cannot see me do that, but I'm doing that. So now, guys, I'm done with my skin. I'm going to focus on um, setting down everything that we just applied. And I'm, for now, I'm going to focus on just underneath my eyes and the center of my face, the areas that I had highlighted. Let me just blend this out. Typically, I like going in with a little bit of product, spread it out, and then consistently like press this in most times i tend to crease which is why i don't like using a lot of products underneath the eyes if you guys watched me blending it out you would have seen that like i was trying to scrape out a little bit of the product so that that way it doesn't leave any creasing what i'm going to do now is to go over my face with a sculpting brown bronzer this one is from revolutions pro i've been using this for a while love it been using it I'm going to take a little bit of product a little does go a long way and i'm just going to bronze up my face this is beautiful to look sun kissed for the sun right just a little bit goes a long way do the same thing over here on the other side and just apply this remember this is another layer of color to the skin the same thing on the bridge of my nose as well taking a clean brush and I don't want to use a lot of product so I'm going to dust it out use my the back of my hand to kind of like dust off the excess product with this you want to build it on right so starting off with little amount is always the best way to go if you're not sure of the pigmentation or how much you would need so just keep building it up and take your time with this I can spray my you know setting sprays to kind of bring back that dewy nest and to melt everything down but before i do that i'm going to just go in with my powder to press everything all in so i'm going to just set the entire face and blend everything all in this one is from hegai and esther and i'm just going to apply this on the center of my face bring this out i'm blending in i'm going to use this to first of all set the areas that i had not set that's this area the outer corners of my face majorly majorly over here and over here because if you remember we used um bronzer over here we used bronzer over here we used setting powder and set out my face but we didn't apply anything down here and down here so that's what i'm kind of focusing on applying that setting powder over here so it's set 
also going to go in with that setting powder on the areas that I had applied other products so that we can even it out, tone it down and blend it as well. So remember, like I said, with makeup, it's about layering and not like packing on. So now this is another layer of coverage. I'm trying to even it out a little bit as well. I love it. So next up, I'm going to focus on my eyes because I'm done with my face. I'm focus focusing more on my eyes and then we're going to kind of call it a day. And especially now, if you're trying to create like a summer look, you want it to look fresh, natural. And that's the look we're going for. I'm going to take a little bit of concealer on my lid, just a little bit. That should do and blend that out a bit. I'm going to take that amount of concealer, right? Just to even it out so that way we have one tone. I'm going to set my eyes with the loose setting powder just to lock in this foundation so it doesn't move it doesn't crease so we're good to go guys for my brows i'm going to be using the brow sculpt right i'm just going to open this up um let me get this out of the pack oh this is so pretty i feel like my hands are dirty let me just wipe this down a little bit so i don't stain this because this is too pretty it's too pretty by the way guys we now have Fenty Beauty in Africa and in Nigeria to be more precise I'm so excited about this oh, this is so pretty I'm gonna use this let me move closer so we can see this in full effect apply this on my brows then take this other side and brush this oh this is so good and i didn't even go in with a lot of product i'm kind of scared to apply a lot of the product on here with this look i want my brows to look also look fresh more wax packaging is too pretty and for my brows i'm going to just be drawing my brows in the same direction that i had like brushed it okay so this is what my brows are looking like right now um like i previously said i do not highlight my brows anymore because i feel like it's too much work for like an everyday kind of look on my lids i like to keep it clean that is just me. It looks, you look better when it's clean, guys. I'm going in with that on my eyelids and I'm gonna blend this out just to create a little bit of depth. You know. So I'm going in with this shade right here. This is like a neutral shade. Any neutral shade would work, this one over here. And I'm going in with that just to kind of set my lids but also add a little bit of brightness to it right i feel like if i do green i'm going to look crazy on my lids because it's going to be too much green going on for my eyes like i said i'm going to use um, a colored pencil i'm going to use this shade just because i feel like it goes well with my dress this is a shade of green and I'm going to use that underneath my waterline. Okay, so I'm loving how it's looking so far. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go in with this on the top and bottom lash line. Okay. I'm done with the mascara. Next up, I'm going to pop on my lashes. So just for the fun of it, I went in with a second layer of mascara on my bottom lash alone. And guys, this thing, there's something about the formula of this mascara that just adds like volume to your lashes, basically. So I'm going to um, pop on my falsies on my lash. 
Okay, so I'm loving how we're looking so far. I went ahead to pop on my lashes and this is what we are looking like. Next up, I'm going to be using the Kilowatt Freestyle Duo Highlighter in the shade um, Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. Over here and va va voom. Oh, oof, gosh. This shade over here, this is called Mo Honey. It is giving me life already. Like, I want to use this. If you want that, like, chunky highlighter look while the um, afternoon snack is more, like, refined. Like, it's, it's finely milled while the other gives, like, a more chunky feel. So I'm going to use both of it. Just a little bit goes a long way, guys. I don't want to look like like sunlight i just want to look illuminated this is even too much for me more honey on my body just to give me that summer glow yes and we're good what i'm gonna do now is to take that more honey the one that is a bit more chunky and apply that on the inner corners of my eyes like so inner corners of my eyes like so tip of my nose just a little bit over here just a little bit like so oh girls guys it's over For my lips, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I think I might do a little bit of like a nudish pink. So let me just apply that on my lips and then go in with the gloss balm. Like so. All I need to do is to seal everything in with my gloss balm and we are good to go this is so pretty okay so i have my fenty beauty this is the fenty beauty fenty glow this is a gloss balm this is it I apply this generously on oh oh my goodness I should have done this using an applicator or something. I'm going to just like clean this off on my wipes because now I have that brown lip liner on it. So this is what we are looking like. Um, to finish this entire look, I'm going to use a setting spray. I'm not a fan of spraying my entire face just because, guys, this thing just feels uncomfortable. So I'm going to spray my damp beauty sponge kind of get it wet I have the product on here so I'm going to gradually just apply that but also press it on to my face as well so this right here this beauty this look this finish this vibe is what we just created together on this video and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys also love the look that we created um again with me i am pretty much i don't want to say basic but i like it i like to keep it neutral i like to kind of still keep it classy but also maybe even try to keep colorful at the same time so in case you guys are new here um join the family because on here we share a lot of beauty tips production tips strategy tips business tips as well as youtube tips if you want to grow and level up in 2022 2023 2024 2025 then definitely feel free to subscribe to this channel 
join the family let's grow in grace in beauty in business and in a lot of money because this year we are killing it and we're hitting it hard so in case you guys are seeing me for the first time feel free to subscribe in case you guys love beauty i have an entire playlist on that if you're someone who is interested in my like setup and design and all that you have come to the right place because i've got you covered definitely check out the playlist i'm going to be leaving over here and over here and again subscribe it is totally free totally fun educative here and you do not want to miss out on any of my latest and previous videos so again thank you so much for joining us i'd love to see you guys in my next as well as previous videos till then you know what to do make sure you stay blessed and stay fabulous <laughs> i'll see you guys